Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I would like to share another healthy and easy recipe with you and it is good for those on a diet like paleo or ketogenic diet and also beneficial for those busy person like me. You can have this for dinner or lunch time. So without further ado, here are the ingredients and let's start cooking. First off, we need to prepare our ingredients like capsicum or bell pepper, one medium brown onion, and a garlic. So we have to dice our capsicum first. So just a little bit of trivia about the capsicum. Don't you know that you can identify whether the capsicum is female and it is sweeter when it has four bumps underneath and it's male when it has three bumps and the taste is quite strong and then next we have to dice our brown onion as well be careful with the knife and we have to cut off our cauliflower into florets don't you know guys that cauliflower is loaded of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin B, fiber, and it's also good for those um, who are trying to lose weight. It is good for digestion, it is anti-cancer, antioxidant, and it also serves as a replacement for white rice. Next up, we have to dice our garlic. I use three to four globes of garlic on my um on my soup. It's up to you whether you want to add more or less. Next is we need to add protein in our soup. I use at least four to five slices of less sodium and less fat turkey bacon you can actually use pork or chicken bacon or you can also replace this with pork or chicken mince but if you are vegan you can omit this or use tofu as a replacement then we need two medium carrots we need to cut this into small cubes after preparing and chopping all the ingredients, first we need to fry our bacon on a preheated pot with 2 tablespoons of olive oil, place your bacon. Make sure it is brown, crispy, and caramelized. Please don't let it burn. And once we achieve the desired color, we can now set this one aside and use this for our toppings. Next is we have to saute our onion first on the same pot where we cook our bacon. You will notice that we saute the onion first instead of the garlic because the garlic burn quickly other than the onion. So when the onion is um, caramelized, we can now add the garlic. And then after that, we will add our capsicum or the bell pepper. Once our bell pepper is a little bit soft, we can now add our carrots. We will simmer it for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we will add 2 tablespoons of plain flour. Next, we need to add our dry thyme and parsley. But if you have fresh herbs in your fridge, you can actually use that. It will add fragrance on our soup. So when you think that the flour is already cooked, we can add our broth. We will add 4 cups of chicken broth or vegetable broth. But if you don't have any liquid broth, you can alter this by using chicken cubes or vegetable cubes. We will cover this and let it simmer for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once it's simmering, we can now add our cauliflower. Okay. 
and then you will let it boil again for about 5 minutes and then after that we can now add our seasoning like black pepper and salt And we will cover this again and let it simmer for about another um, 5 minutes. After that, we can now add our celery. We will add about 1 cup celery or at least 4 stems of celery. And for our last ingredients, we are now going to add 1 cup of whole milk. If you notice, I use lactose-free milk because I have a lactose intolerance. But you can actually use whatever type of milk you desire. And here we go! We're done! Here is our finished recipe, our cauliflower bacon chowder is super healthy, quick and easy. You can have it any time of the day and I hope that you will learn something from me and you will give it a try. If you have any question, suggestion, feel free to comment down below and thank you for watching. I hope to see you again here at Jenny's Life Palette. God bless and have a great day. Bye!